Alrighty, hi guys. So yep, let's get into it. Get a, another quick study, study sesh. All right, where we left off. Um, study at Mary visits Elizabeth. Uh, a few days later, Mary hurried to the hill, hill country of Judah, to the town. Okay, we're on NLT at the moment there. So um, let's go a quick one, Judea. All right, so and town. So it's got Judah of Judah. So and it doesn't. There's not saying town there. So you can see town. So as we know, the uh, Strong's was not written for any other Bible. So uh, we've got to use the KJV. So um, into a city of. Judah. Okay, it has got the H on the end. So we'll have a look. Where's, where, what's that one? Of Judah. <clears throat> okay. Um, and these aren't the same, by the way. The, when you look at the number for that last one that came up, Judah, that was actually the other people. So this is a city. Um, <clears throat> okay, the region occupied by the tribe of Judah. Okay, and it's saying there, Palestine. All right, or a part of or a place in Palestine. Okay, so uh, there's that. Uh, and close that. Yep, and um, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. So you see, saluted in this one, and the other one it says, um, oh, just. I can't remember, but it's, it's kind of like greeted, something like that. So let's we'll have a look at saluted. So this is this is why you look at Strong's. Just a, it it makes it like totally different, totally different meaning. So saluted <clears throat> to draw oneself, to greet, to receive joyful welcome. So if you have a look here, um, to enfold in the arms. All right, so embrace, greet. So it was a, you know, a joyful, happy greeting. It wasn't just a salute, you know, like in the army, or uh, or just say hello sort of thing. So, and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard um, the sal salutation of Mary, um, the babe leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh, so. Uh, so Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost when the when the baby leapt in the womb. Okay, well that's pretty cool. And she spoke out with a loud voice and said, "Blessed art thou among the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. <clears throat> and whence is this to me, All right, that that the mother of my Lord should come to me?" All right, so. So look here. I hate how it does that. It takes you all the way over the top. Where is it? Um, okay. So uh, at the sound of Mary's greeting, Elizabeth um Elizabeth's child leapt within her, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth gave a glad cry and exclaimed to Mary, God has blessed you above all women, and your child is blessed. Why am I so honoured that the mother of my Lord should visit me? When I heard you greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. You were blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. Alright, so that's by faith. Um... There we go. Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Well, I should see if that says Yeshua. Let's have a look. Saviour. Of course, I got the slowest internet in the world. Um... Uh, Saviour, times two, Saviour, Deliverer, Preserver, um, what is the word? That's up here, so it's, yeah, little, it's different, 
<clears throat> it's not Yeshua, it's a different saviour. Uh, from, yeah, so anyway, you can get into that and have a look later on. A bit more in depth. I'm pretty sure that'd be, go somewhere. <clears throat> and, uh, what is that, for he, for he took notice of of his lowly servant girl and from now on on all generations we will call me blessed for the mighty one is holy and he has done great things for me he shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him his mighty arms has done tremendous things and he scattered he's, he's scattered the proud and haughty ones he has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he has made th this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home, back to her own home. The birth of John the Baptist. When it was time for Elizabeth's baby to be born, she gave a, a birth to a son. And when her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord, that the Lord had been very merciful to her, everyone rejoiced with her. When the baby was eight days old, they all came from the circumcision ceremony, and waited, wanted to name him Zechariah after his father. But Elizabeth said, no, no, his name's John. What? they exclaimed. There is no one in all your family by that name. So they used gestures to ask the baby's father what he wanted to name him. He, he motioned for a writing tablet and everyone, to everyone's surprise he wrote the name John. His name is John. Instantly Zachariah could speak again and he began praising God. Awe fell upon the whole neighbourhood and the news of what had happened spread throughout the Judean hills. Everyone who heard about it reflected on these events <clears throat> and asked, What will this child turn out to be? For the hand of the Lord was surely upon him in a special way. Zechariah's Prophecy Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and gave, his, gave this prophecy. Praise the Lord! the God of Israel, because he has visited and redeemed his people. He has sent us mighty Saviour from the royal line of his servant David, just as he promised through his holy prophets long ago. Now we will be saved from our enemies and from all who hate us. He has been merciful to our ancestors by remembering his sacred covenant. The covenant he swore with an oath to our ancestors Abraham, ancestor Abraham. We have all been rescued from, from our enemies so we can serve God without fear. In holiness and righteousness for as long as we live. And you, my little son, will be called the prophet of the Most High because you will be prepared, you will prepare the way for the Lord. You will tell tell these people how to find salvation through forgiveness of their sins because of because of God's tender mercy the morning light from the heaven is about to break upon us to give the light to those who sit in the darkness and in the shadows of death and to guide us the in guide us to the path of peace John grew up and became very strong in spirit and he lived in the wilderness until he began his public ministry to Israel. So I'll just see that's got a lower case S, so might just see what KJV Some, you know, so you sort of gotta take notice of these uh, whether there's a capital at the start or not. So I'm not sure what spirit he was strong in, whether he's strong in the Holy Spirit or his own spirit. Okay, so it's probably his own spirit there. Very strong in spirit. So, 
about there. Um, okay, well there you go, that's capital S. So what's it saying here? Um, Breeze and little figures of spirit, i.e. human. The rational soul, by implication, vital principle, mental disposition. So there yeah, it's got there's little s, so a spirit, i.e. So that's one we'll go by. The rational soul, vital principle, mental disposition, superhuman, oh, an angel, divine, demon or divine, God, Christ, spirit, the Holy Spirit, ghost. Yeah, so I don't, I think it's just carrying on now, but this is where it means human. Yeah, okay, very interesting. All right. So that's that one. Another quick boost through it. Something to think about. Same again. Just go through it. This is online. Blue letter. It's free. Use it whenever you want. Alright. Yeah. God bless guys. Till the next time.